So I am going to read a letter that I wrote. Um, now there are two chapters in this book on love letters. One is called Love Letters and the other is called Unauthorized Love Letters. Um, I will be reading from the letter. Um, obviously, unauthorized love letters are unrequited love letters. When you write to someone, you have no idea if you will hear from them, what their response will be. Um, so I wrote this a few years ago in, at the end of 2003. Um, I was dating a man who I adored, and uh, you know we were, had only dated for two months, but I was just overwhelmed and. You know, I had a mind full of dopamine and was just completely, I was going to marry him, you know, everything was perfect, and then it ended, suddenly. I don't know where he went. He disappeared, and only after, you know, gently prodding, what happened, um, did I find out he got back together with his ex-girlfriend. Um, but maybe two weeks before he disappeared, I had written him this letter just telling him um, how much fun I was having and how I couldn't wait to keep getting to know him. Um, and I never gave it to him. I was going to mail it to him. I was going away after Christmas, and I was going to mail it to him then. Um, so I decided after weeks went by, and I still thought about him so much, I said, you know what, I'm giving him this letter anyway. I wrote it for him. There's nobody else I can give it to. <laughs> um, so this is the letter that I gave to him. <laughs> December 2003. Dear Ryan, I hope this finds you happy and ready to end the year on a good note. This year for me was very clarifying. I learned a lot about myself as I was forced to rely on my own survival skills and was reminded of the importance of exercising optimism when things don't go my way. I'd lost my job. That's what happened. But to my unexpected pleasure, the one thing that did go my way this year was you. You were just a pleasant memory of mine and somehow materialized and became an authentic and very intense presence. The opportunity to get to know you and wake up tangled in your warm body were pleasantries I had once hoped for but never truly anticipated. I'm so grateful that you allowed me access to you, and I thought it only fair that you know why I'm so drawn to you. In all honesty, this letter is really a pathetic attempt on my part to project myself into your mind the way you've inadvertently projected yourself into mine. The following is a list of some of your charming qualities, according to me. And I'm sure there's a thousand more, and I hope in time you'll reveal them to me also. For now, these will have to do. First, I'm drawn to your steadfast ambitions, the ones that keep you in constant motion, aching to improve upon your already impressive accomplishments. Then there's your modesty. You're always content to reject the well-deserved compliments I give you regarding how clever and attractive you are. Next, there's your broad taste in music. I'm moved by your concern for your siblings, taking it upon yourself to correct the mistakes your parents have made. And how could I not mention your brilliant body with every sinew and muscle exercised perfectly into place? I like your bottom lip, so good for biting. I'm grateful for the compliments you pay me at the most unexpected moments. I'm a big fan of your right shoulder blade. Okay, I like the left one too. I appreciate how polite you are and how often you say thank you. I love that you're always you, whether we're with your friends, my friends, or if it's just us. I love when it's just us. And then there's the way you kiss me. And then there's the way you make me ache. Then there's the way you taste. Then there's the way you feel. Then there's the way you make me feel. Then there's how tender you are. Then there's how aggressive you are. And finally, there's your beautiful face that mixes perfectly the novelties, expressions, and wonder of a boy with all the temptations and certainties of a man. In case you haven't noticed, I'm quite taken with you. I wish you well this year and always. With adoration, Samara. And I never heard from him again. <laughs> um, it was a, uh, um, it was, it was a personal triumph, regardless, because I knew that was the risk I was taking when I gave it to him. Um, and it, you know, it was important for me to stand by my decision and say, no, you gave this to him, don't take it back because it didn't go, go the way you wanted it to. You know, stand by it, you have feelings, you're entitled to them. Um, and I firmly believe if you have feelings for someone, you're allowed to tell them once. <laughs> if you tell them once and you don't get the response you want, then you have to count your losses and walk away, which is what I did, which was very hard. Um, two years later, <laughs> as I was putting for the love of letters together, um, as I said, I included a lot of letters that I've written, but I've also included letters written to me, and in order to publish those, you need um, permission from the people who've written them. Um, it's called Intellectual Property Law that I learned all about while working on the book. Um, so there was a letter, there was an email he had written me that I wanted to put in the book, so I emailed him, just like, hi, remember me, um, and told him about the project and asked if I could use his letter. He wrote back and he was very enthusiastic and congratulated me and said, of course you can use my letter. Um, 
you know, you, I'm happy to sign whatever you need me to sign. And then at the end of his email, he wrote, P.S., as in postscript, as in, oh, by the way. P.S., you must use that letter you wrote to me a while back. It was the nicest, sexiest, sweetest, and most erotic letter someone has ever given me. I still have it. I don't think I could ever throw, away, throw it away. So if you don't remember, I will have to forward it to you. If I don't remember. <laughs> Um, so, and the, there's a lesson in that too, just because you write something for someone and they don't respond immediately doesn't mean it didn't affect them, it just means they're a coward. <laughs>